All right. Uh, hey, just going to do a react, quick reaction. Well, quick. We'll see. Uh, reaction video to um, Dr. Oz and, and kind of a, uh, uh, I would call it a not so friendly a <laughs> professional issue. But uh, anyway, he, he, so this is in response to the, the 15 minutes of fame that I achieved through a weight loss, a, po a weight loss project for class that ended up going public anyway. So I'll let him start and then uh, I'll chime in as, as <laughs> appropriate. And I, I put some titles already in this, so. We're always looking for miracle weight loss solutions. We all love them, but what if it turned out to be your favorite guilty pleasure as well? <laughs> it's called the Twinkie Diet. A professor of nutrition spent 10 weeks living mostly... And it was named that way because of Good Morning America. And astonishingly, he lost 27 pounds in two months. That's not all. His body mass index went from overweight back to normal. And he reduced both his bad cholesterol and triglycerides. Your doctor may be horrified. I'm horrified. But could this be the next miracle diet? It was never touted right, as such a to, to be a diet to follow. The professor who went on the diet, and again, we'll walk you through these. You know, these are chips. We got brownies. Now, I want to point out. So the other aspect here is he didn't invite me on the show, um, and that's one of the, the the key things that I found unprofessional. And so I never had a chance. I, I actually got a call from my cousin that said, "Hey, Dr. Haas is uh, uh, talking about you on the on his show today," and so I didn't even get a heads up that this was going to be an episode. That he also had, a, you know, a little latte. He did have some milk, some veggies, uh, and they had a protein shake. So it wasn't all junk. So would any of my experts think of trying this diet? I've been oh. doing it for 20 years. <laughs> yeah, <it's not> <laughs> what I miss. So she, if you know her, if anybody knows who she is, uh, shout out to her because uh, she she got it. She got uh, kind of the issue and and uh, the the intent of it as you know as a professor. And I think this is where Dr. Oz kind of lost sight of it. Um, I'm not one, I'm not a healthcare professional. My issue is not to prescribe anything, but it's to, to, I'm a, I'm a, I test things. I'm curious. Uh, so anyway, so she kind of, she kind of got it. What's the portion control message? <laughs> Let's face it though. You know, you're trying to get in those jeans where somebody says, Hey, you're putting on a few pounds yeah. and who hasn't tried a crazy diet? Mm -hmm. I did the cabbage diet where I was cooking cabbage, did it for like three days, yeah. and I was like, I can't do this anymore. So you try, desperate times call for desperate And I never argue with uh, anything that somebody tells me works for them. A calorie is a calorie. And so I'm sick of these, these schemes for people to lose weight. I, we got to get rid of this. If you only ate one Twinkie, one Dorito, one, you got to be a ding dong <laughs> to even try this, okay? I mean, it, it, it doesn't make any sense because, Phyllis, 15 cal 1,500 calories is 1,500 calories. I don't care what you do, but his portion control was, was in... So the interesting point here is, uh, at this time, this was 2010, at the time, this was, you know, it was, these things cause obesity, sugar causes this, sugar causes that, fat causes this, fat causes that. It wasn't calories and calories in, calories out, it wasn't energy balance, it was, don't eat this, it'll make you fat. Oreos, for example, go straight to your thighs because it was low but he also ate some fiber he also took a vitamin so that means that things are, are always going to be you know uh, good for him because he's doing what he's theoretically not supposed always, to do always. what this about his a, teeth what about, issue? what about his teeth what about his teeth short he, term, he teeth 20 times this is a short term <laughs> thing and he lost weight he was an overweight guy but he also, so he lost 24 pounds and therefore his blood sugar but it has no down, teeth now again she got it she she understands energy balance she understands uh the process here, so kudos to her. No, but he also never talked about energy balance. We don't have any idea what he did for exercise, and the whole bottom line is it's got to be balance, energy in, energy out. And, uh, you know, if, if one loses weight, then they're in a negative energy state. And so that's, from an energy balance perspective, that's what it's, again, it's going back to if you take in fewer calories than you expend, you're going to lose weight. And that's kind of what, the, what this talked about, and that's what he said. Uh, this guy said, uh, uh, you know, 1,500 calories is 1,500 calories. So, anyway. Now, I did the math also. It, you know, he was losing about 800 calories a day, mm -hmm. right? Which means over the course of two months, he wouldn't have lost. So, the, according to this, you know, and I put this up there, um, 
there was no I I didn't measure what I was eating before or what I what I was expending before. So he I don't know where he got his numbers. This eight his eight hundred calories. Twenty five pounds. You would have lost half that much or less. So something doesn't fit here for me. And the big issue for me is actually what's easy to do. It is really hard to restrict the amount of calories you have when you're eating like this. So let me show you why. Here's a quick demonstration. You eat a healthy diet, right? If you eat a healthy diet, when this you gets heat yourself up, you start burning through the calories. But over time, you'll slowly chew up those calories. It's giving you nutrients. It's good for you. It gives you the energy to live your life. And, you know, four, five, six hours later, you feel hungry again. It's not difficult when you're eating healthy food to ration the, the foods that you're eating because you can control yourself more effectively. Now, when you have junk food, you get a lot of energy and then it's gone. And it's gone. So, uh, doesn't that mean it, metabolism increases? If you have a lot of energy and then it's gone? Hmm, interesting concept. So fast, you're hungry again an hour, half an hour later, which is why it's darn hard to do what that professor did. Now, studies have shown that, that if you're going to be overweight, you better be in good shape. But frankly, I'd much rather folks be overweight and in good physical shape. Uh, he, he did say that my cholesterol, triglycerides, lipids, glucose, everything was in good shape, right? Then thin little waifs and in bad physical shape. Because it turns out it's better for you that way. So we need to find the middle ground. I'm not sure this is going to be that for any of us. So that's just kind of a, a general summary of kind of uh, the diet that I did and uh, a professional's response uh, to that. Kudos to the doctors, the TV show. They actually invited me out. So uh, and I was actually able to have a, a nice conversation with uh, that staff and that that uh, the board of physicians that are on in that group. So anyway, thank you. Uh, until next time.